we are justified and made righteous in Him. 1 Corinthians chapter 6, verse 11. And such were some of you, but you were washed, you were sanctified, but you were justified in the name of the Lord Jesus and by the Spirit of our God. 2 Corinthians 5, verse 21. For he made him who knew no sin to be sin for us, that we might become the righteousness of God in him. This is a very powerful truth of our identity in Christ, of who we are in him. That in Christ we have been justified and made righteous. Now, when we talk about being justified, it means we've been made just as if we have never sinned. That means we are acquitted or pardoned free from the guilt, the shame of all the wrong we've done. And now God has totally wiped the slate clean and we have been justified. We declared no more guilty, no, no, not guilty any longer, justified in the sight of God. And we have been made righteous. That means we are brought into a right standing with God. Now, the righteousness that we have before God or the right standing that we have with God is not based on our works. It is not based on any man's righteousness. The Bible tells us we have become the righteousness of God in Christ. That means God has put upon us, bestowed upon us, His own righteousness. Or if you want to make it plain and simple, God has made you as righteous as Himself. That means the righteousness that's on you is the righteousness that's on God. Because God has given to us His righteousness, the righteousness of God. That means, uh, as, as believers, our standing before God is completely clear. We are justified and we are made righteous. That we can approach God without any sense of guilt, shame, unworthiness, feelings of inferiority, and uh, uh, none of those negative things. The Bible tells us there is no more condemnation to those who are in Christ. So when we go before God, we go humbly, we go knowing that He is God and we're men, uh, we're mortal. We go humbly before God, but we also know, uh, go before God acknowledging that He has made us justified. He has made us righteous in His eyes. There is no condemnation. We are accepted. We are welcomed. We are justified. We have been washed and we have full access in the very presence of God. So. That is your standing before God. You are justified. You are righteous. You see, this is a problem with many believers. They don't understand this truth. And they still keep praying prayers like, Oh God, I'm so unworthy. I'm so unfit. I'm such a sinner. Oh God, we are nobodies. Look, that's not honoring the Word of God. The Word of God says, You are justified. You have been made righteous. So why don't you acknowledge this truth, what the Word of God says about you. What God says about you, God says He's given you the righteousness of God. Accept that. Thank Him for it. Go before Him boldly based on what He's done for us in Him. In Him, you are justified, made righteous. It gives you a clean slate, a clean standing before God. Let's pray. Father, we thank You that You've justified us and You've made us righteous in Your own eyes. Because we are in Him. We are in Christ. Help us to understand this. Help us to relate to you as people who have been justified and made righteous. In Jesus' name, Amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.